Hello there, welcome to the news on Nepal Television. I'm Rosina Rai, starting with headlines. President Educational Reform Program for this year cancelled the Ministry of Education cited delay in selection of schools is the reason behind it. Dilapidated condition of major roads becoming a death of beds of uh, travelers, delay in construction leading to increased risk of accidents. Five Chinese nationals among six are killed in a suicide bomb attack in Pakistan. No armed group claims responsibility for the attack. And the Nepal's 3 0 loss to Bahrain ends its chance of qualifying for the World Cup and Asia qualifier remains pointless from losing all four matches. Welcome back. Now we have news in detail. The Ministry of Education, Science and Technology has decided to adjourn the President Educational Reform Program due to delay in the selection of schools. A budget of Rs 1 billion was appropriated for the program in the current fiscal year. In the context of delay in selecting schools under the program and various complaints regarding the distribution and use of resources, a meeting held on the presence of Education, Minis uh, Education Minister Sumana Shrestha decided to postpone the program and inform the Ministry of Finance. There have been public opinions that it would not be relevant to provide budget for infrastructure development to schools elsewhere in the absence of necessary budget management where the reconstruction of the school buildings are damaged by the Georgia Court earthquake and the lack of funds to run model public school in areas where marginalized settlements such as Musahars and Chepangs are located. Education ministers, a private secretary informed that the ministry will focus on the educational development of these areas in the coming fiscal year. The Sipian Mawas Center has made the decision to participate in the forthcoming by elections in Ilam and Bazang, which is scheduled for April 27. During a meeting today, this morning, of office bearers, the party resolved to nominate candidates for both the Ilam 2 and Bazang 1 constituencies. However, the final selection of candidates is yet to be determined. The meeting was held in the Prime Minister's residence about water. In contrast, the CPN Yuma has earlier designated Suhang Nimwang, the son of the later party leader Subhas Nimwang, as its candidate for the by-election. We take a short break here. Stay with us. Welcome back. You are watching Nepal Television News. Now we have remaining national updates. Uh, Australia has made uh, changes to its international student visa policy. The new arrangement, effective from March 24, introduces uh, several modifications, some of which uh, might influence students' decisions to return to their home countries after completing their studies. Previously, the Australian government prioritized uh, financial consideration in granting student visas, but the new policy emphasizes educational aspects replacing the genuine uh, temporary entrant uh, GTE criteria with the uh, genuine student uh, requirement under the updated system students uh, must uh, provide a uh, detailed information about their background employment uh, financial status and reasons of uh, choosing Australia and uh, the educational institutions the minimum language uh, test uh, scores requirement has been raised uh, from 5.5 to 6 and the uh, and uh, the required bank account balance has increased uh, to 24,000, uh, adding to the financial burden for st uh, students, a dollar, $24,000, and approximate, uh, approximately 10,000, according to the data, approximately 10,000 Nepali students uh, travel to Australia annually for educational purposes. To other update, uh, major roads uh, that uh, connect the federal capital Kathmandu with other parts of the country are becoming increasingly risky due to its uh, dilapidated condition. Travelers are 
encountering significant inconveniences due to condition of roads that are either being expanded Upgraded. The road expansion work from Novisi to Moglin is causing significant inconvenience of uh, commuters, adding to the challenges faced by those entering the federal capital. The slow progress in uh, road expansion, coupled with unpredictable detours and dust and debris on the road, has led to delays in reaching destinations. Construction work on uh, Trivana Highway and uh, Prithvi Highway both is <coughs> progressing sluggishly, with concern rising about completing the work within the stipulated time frame. Challenges such as tree cutting, management of electricity and telephone poles and lines, and delays in material extraction have further hampered progress. The road department has divided the expansion work of Novisi Nagtunga section into three packages rather three phases, but uh, progress uh, remains uh, slow. Only uh, around 45% physical progress has been achieved in the first uh, section from Novice to Nagtunga, while the second uh, section from Novice to Malke Kola has only reached 17% progress. Delays in completion raise uh, doubts about uh, meeting the June 2081 rather 2081 deadline. Similarly, the Narayangad Butal Road section's expansion work has also progressed slowly, reaching only 49 percent since its inception in 2017, 75 BS. Travel time from Nagdunga rather Narangat to Butul has increased significantly causing inconvenience to travelers. Also expansion work on the road from Kathmandu to Sangha Dulikil is also stagnant with the challenges in managing water pipes and drainage systems. The Surya Binaika Dulikil road section connecting the central hills plays a crucial role in facilitating commuters of uh, Citizens of Kosi and uh, Madhesa Pradesh uh, to and uh, from Kathmandu. Now we have a weather update. The mid division of the Department of Hydrology and Meteorology has predicted light rain along with lighting for the next three days in the hilly regions of Kosi, Bagmati and Gandaki provinces. According to their division, there is a possibility of a general rainfall in the hilly areas of the far western and the mid-western regions from today. Mid division Chief Purasani Saruzo Purasani said that there is a possibility of rain in the hilly region of different provinces and snowfall in the high hill and mountainous areas. According to the division, light rain with thunder and lightning is likely to occur at a few places of the hilly region of Kosi, Bagmati and Gandaka provinces and one or two places of the Madhusa province and the rest of the hilly region in next 24 hours. With this uh, weather update, uh, we take a short break. Stay with us for international headlines. Now we have international headliners, uh, five Chinese nationals and uh, Pakistan. Pakistani driver have been killed after a suicide attack rammed. Uh, the explosive laden vehicle into their convoy there near Baisam city in northwest of Pakistan's Khyber. The incident happened on Tuesday when the convoy was on its way from Islamabad in Dasu. The site of a key hydroelectric dam being constructed by a Chinese company about 270 kilometers from the capital of Pakistan. Rescue officials said the vehicle carrying the Chinese nationals fell in a gorge after the blast and at least two bodies were badly burned, making their identification difficult. No armed group has so far claimed responsibility for the attack and the Chinese embassy and Islamabad or the Chinese foreign ministry in Beijing have not commented on the incident yet. 
Now, to other update, uh, six people are presumed dead after a ship hit the landmark Francis Scott Kibriz in the U.S. city of Baltimore. The Coast Guard said it had suspended its search and begun a recovery effort. Fears have been raised over significant dis disruption to global supply chains after a container ship crashed into a bridge in the U.S. city of Baltimore. Officials said the ship suffered a power issue and, and uh, issued a distress call moments before the crash. Boats and helicopters were part of a huge search and rescue efforts, searching for the six missing people. Two others were pulled from the water with one in a serious condition. To the more updates, before that, let's have a quick look into the highlights of the side. China has launched a new satellite from the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center in northern Sanxi province on Wednesday morning. A modified version of a long March 6 rocket carrying the Yunai 3 Jiradu satellite lifted off at 6.51 basing time. The satellite has entered the preceded orbit and will be used for atmospheric and marine environment surveys. Space Environment Monitoring, Disaster Prevention and Reduction, and Scientific Experiments. The launch was the 514th mission of the Long March series carrier rockets. To the spots now. Nepal has lost to host Bahrain in its fourth match, second phase under FIFA World Cup and AFC Asian Cup qualifier held yesterday. The 3 nil loss has ended Nepal's chances of qualifying for the World Cup and Asia qualifier. Nepal had entered the second phase of the qualifier, defeating Laos in its first phase match. Similarly, it has not been able to win a single game under the second phase. It was defeated in all three second phase matches. In the first match held in the United Arab Emirates, Nepal lost to UAE by 4-0 goals, to Yemen by 2-0 goals in the second match held in home ground, and to Bahrain by 5-0 in the third match. Nepal is in Group A in the second phase. Similarly, Bahrain, Yemen and UAE are in the same group. Winning three games in uh, three matches, UAE is on the top position with uh, nine points, while Bahrain in second position with uh, six points. Uh, likewise, Yemen is in third position with uh, three points, while Nepal is without a point, losing all four matches in the qualifying round. The official stand for the Paris Olympic and Paralympic Games in the collaboration between the Paris 2024 Organizing Committee and La Post Group was officially released at the French Postal Museum and uh, drawing inspiration from the visual identity of the Paris Olympic, the stamped uh, highlights iconic places like the Eiffel Tower and the River Seine, with uh, sporting elements of athletics, uh, tracks and balls bounces uh, featured in it. The stamp has exceptional finishes with a hot uh, stamping, drawing inspiration from the visual identity of the Paris Olympics. Before we wrap up, quick, quick reminders of the headlines once again. President Education Reform Program for this year cancelled the Ministry of Education sites a delay in selection of the schools is the reason behind. Dilapidated condition of major roads becoming better, better for travelers and delays in construction leading to increased risk of Five Chinese nationals among six killed in suicide bomb attack in Pakistan, no armed group claims a responsibility for the attack. And Nepal's uh, three nil loss to Bahrain in its, uh, ends its chance of, chances of qualifying for the World Cup and as a qualifier remains pointless uh, from losing all four matches. Well, this is all we have for this moment. Until our next uh, bulletin, keep watching Nepal television. Have a good day ahead. Namaste.